Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus and here's your word for the day. I remember when I was young in my faith saying these words that literally changed how I followed Jesus. I said, God, I will love what you love and I will hate what you hate. If you hate it, Lord, then I hate it too. And it completely changed how I followed Jesus. In Psalm 97, it is a wonderful psalm about how our God reigns and rules, and it is declaring who our God is and how we are to rejoice in the greatness of God over all creation. God is in control of all today and forevermore, and he will set all things right because righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Then the psalmist makes the connection for God's people, how our hearts, our lives should follow God's righteousness and justice. And he tells us how to do that in verse 10 of chapter 97. Uh, let me read it for you. It says this. It says, O you who love the Lord, hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints. He delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. You who love the Lord hate evil, hate wickedness, hate sin. You see, God hates sin because of the destructiveness it causes in our lives. Now, it's not enough to just disregard it, to ignore it. But as a follower of Jesus, as God's people, we are to hate sin. Sin is a disease that will literally consume your life. It will rob you of your joy. Worse, it will lead you and others to death. So what do we do? Well, the psalmist also gives us the answer uh, in that same verse that I just read. All right? It says, you who love the Lord, love the Lord. When we align our lives completely by following Jesus, completely surrendering and submitting to Jesus and his will, by drawing closer to him in reading and applying his word to our lives daily. When we are in conversation with the Lord daily, that's prayer, by the way, and completely trusting him with our lives every single day, you will fall in love with Jesus. There was a song that I used to sing uh, way back in the day, or at least back in my day. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing it, although it is a desire of mine. It's not a gifting. But the song says this, I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Lord and I. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I want to encourage you today to fall in love with Jesus. Because when you love him, you will love what he loves and you will hate what he hates. And it will change how you follow him for the rest of your life. If you're not a follower of Jesus Christ today or you're unsure, the Bible clearly tells us for the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. If you want to receive Jesus right now, where you're at, you can. It is as simple as confessing him as the Lord of your life. You see, in Romans 10, 9 and 10, it says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, that you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses what? His sin and is saved. If you're a follower of Jesus Christ today, that means you have placed your faith and trust in Jesus as the Lord of your life. But you are struggling with sin today. Maybe it's consumed your life and maybe it's robbed you of your joy. I got two things for you. I want to encourage you, first and foremost, to repent. Just ask the Lord to forgive you. Remember, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Then I want to invite you to an awesome ministry called Celebrate Recovery. We meet here at our Sweetwater campus every Monday at 6.30 p.m. It is a great place to work on your hurts, your habits, and your hangups. Listen, sin is destructive and destroying lives all around us. And if you want the victory in your life today and in the lives of your loved ones, let us be a people who love the Lord and hate evil. God bless you and have a good rest of the day.